Hi, it's Rob. Shalom, Shalom. Uh, we're the brothers of Jim Master Branch here in Chicago. Um, first and foremost, giving all praises, going honor unto Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Rakat Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of uh, GMS. Salutations to all the uh, the Akim that are out there that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, you know, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. And uh, to the friends of the Facebook, and the joining to our ranks, to the them of the hopeful elect. All right, um, this is a complete works of Shakespeare, and. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of meat in this book. I really it's not like the most exciting read, so I'm gonna read through it. But I just wanna just share, show a few points. If you could, brother, go on that fancy phone and pull up a uh, YouTube video about uh, Rise of the Moors. Uh, this right here, if you could if you could get that, brother. It says what does it read? Can you read it through the camera? Uh, oh, Dolo, the Moor of Vince. Uh, Venice. 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 All right, so Othello. 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 Othello, the Moor of Venice. All right. Often the Moor part is left out when they talk about Othello. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll readily admit Her. that he was a, a so-called uh, a black man. They'll admit that part, but they leave out the Moor part. All right. And Moor is a German word for black. All right. Which simply just means dark skin because. There's no such thing as black people. My jacket is black. No one's skin color is this, this is color. My scarf is black. No one's skin color is that color. I'm dark but I ain't Right, yeah, and so this is perfect. But you got brown skin against black garment. Black garment. So that, so that whole black thing is a false narrative. That was a word that was created, just like white was created. All right, that's a false narrative. It's a class. But the, but the point being is that Othello was wrote in the, uh, in the in the 1500s by Shakespeare, what what Edomite people do you believe would write a book about a white woman who's having relations with a so-called black man in the 1500s mm -hmm. if they were the ruling class people? That in itself should just shut it all down, all right? And Othello means more, you know, and more means black. It's a German word for more, and that's lots of people with that last name more. What is spelled uh, M O double double O R E, yep. and also uh, M O H R, all right. And there's a lot of relics uh, uh, that that talk about the Moors as well, man. Yep. All right, because you got to remember the Moors ruled, ruled Spain from about uh, 700 A D all the way up until the fall of uh, Granada in 1492, the same year that Christopher Columbus sold was the year that, that the Moors uh, relinquished their their. Uh, uh, their rulership and many of them went into uh to slavery um so can i get a, a, a luke 8 and 17 you know whatever you whatever you have brother let me see that uh that fancy phone real so uh well i just clicked on one but it's showing you the, uh, oh yeah, matter of fact, this is one I often use. Because I like that beat. I even use this in kickboxing. It class. But if we turn it sideways, it gets bigger, right? So these are uh, images that are still all over Europe today. Right? So this, this, is, this, this is a historical, these are relics, man. These, these are relics of the time that what I'm saying, make just, just letting you know that what I'm saying is true, man. All right, that's supposedly Miss St. Maurice, but I, I've heard that he's actually someone else. But nevertheless, that image was found in, uh, in Germany in the 12th century. So, so when's the last time you seen somebody look like that in Germany? Right. All right, so, so and, um, yeah, but this is a, a knight, and he's somewhere in a museum right now. But the original place where this, this, uh, that particular relic came from was, was, uh, uh, was in, in, in Germany, man. All right. What you got, bro? And I read Othello in high school. They ain't say shit. Nothing about that. <laughs> so, so there you go. Uh, this is St. Luke, chapter 7, verse 18. It says, And the disciples of John showed him of all these things. This is Luke, chapter 8, verse, 30, uh, verse 18. It says, Take heed. 
Therefore, how ye hear, for whosoever hath, to him shall be given. 17, huh? 17. For nothing else, like I went to 18, it's like This is Luke chapter 8, verse 17. For nothing is secret that shall be made manifest. All right, so Esau's secrets are being made manifest, man. All right, the relics, the relics are uh, giving away. Get Psalms, uh, hey, finish that, then get Psalms 85 and 11. It says, for nothing is a secret that shall be made manifest, neither anything here that shall not be known and come abroad. Right, so they tried to hide this history, man, but now it's just coming abroad, man. All right, hence the reason why they're trying to demonize us and putting all these different names and titles on us uh, 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 outside of what we are, man. Okay? Psalms 85 and 11, bro. Because I just showed you uh, uh, relics, man. Okay? Uh, uh, re facts, factual relics that are still in Europe today, man. It's not just me saying something. You know, uh, I like to produce the records of the things when I'm talking about it, show you where it's coming from, man. So once again, what white man you know is gonna write about a white woman having sex with a, with a black man? Somebody look like Murph. All right, he looking like one of them, one of them Moors, one of them ruling class. Got 30 white women in his harem, another 30 other heathens, and, and, a, and a whole bunch of black women, so-called. And it got 90 women in his harem, man. All right, that's but that's how Jake was rolling during that time period. Real talk. Uh, it's uh, uh, from the Edamani online. The uh, Edamani online. It says more. It says from Greek Maros, perhaps a native name or else cognitive with Maros black but this adjective only appears in late greek and and may as well be from people's name as a reverse being a dark people in relation to europeans their name in the middle ages was a synonym for negative right exactly so like the word sable when you read that that word sable actually means it's talking about a so-called black person mm. all right i didn't know that but you know how i found it out just read through the glossary in here it's a lot it's a lot of info in this glossary man right like the word knave when they would call you knave knave meant you were a servant man and i remember hearing that and watching some of them period pieces man you know i love the way the brother just came off the top rope yeah, yeah, yeah. Did the, the, the cheap manager move and pull all their feet? It's a WrestleMania shit. Exactly. But that was beautiful, though. You know? Because we all in the same fight, man. We're one body, man. Uh, all right? This is Psalms 85, verse 11. It says, Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yeah, your power shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Right, so so the the uh, the truth has sprung out of the earth, man. The relics that you're digging up. The, the relics that they've dug up has proved everything about the Bible to be true, man. They went to every place where they where all these biblical events took place, and they did they, and they did digs. And, and what did they do when they dig it up? They find out that it's accurate and correct, man. And then are the relics that were found uh, here all over America, man. Uh, 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 Kazak has been the champion of that uh, with their GMS. In, 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 the year, in the years uh, uh, lately, man, because I has gone a lot to the places where a lot of these relics are. Uh, all right, the Decalogue stone, you and, and reading the Hebrew, even the ancient uh, uh, Paleo Hebrew, man, proven so. So, like all these idiots with this, only the Negroes are the Israelite uh, garbage, man. Right, and, and, and Esau helps uh, uh, confuse people with those lies, too, man, because, because Esau doesn't want the tribe to come back together, man. He wants you to remain black, which there's no such thing. He wants you to remain Hispanic, which there's no such thing. He wants you to remain a Native American, which is no such thing, man. Those are all bywords and titles that they created, man. Yep. Let me get your scripture. We're going to wrap it up. This is just a quick hit. You want a second address? Um, uh, 6, uh, 27, 28. One of my favorite scriptures. Okay, this is second address, 6 and 27. It says, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. Right, so the truth that has been so long without fruit, man, lies have been told for so long that the truth sounds strange. Yeah. Right, the, the truth, and, and that's what that's saying, the truth is stranger than fiction. Because when the truth actually comes out, it sounds so crazy that, that people don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? It's like that, man, that's how you know because it's right. What did you have, brother? Uh, I had Jeremiah 49. My brother wanted me to put out Isaiah 20, 20. 25 and 7. Con, that's a good one, brother. This is Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7. 
It says, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. So there you go, man. So Esau trying to hide himself. You know, he he's the, uh, you know, let's talk about white identity extremists, man. Right? There's no such thing, but there is Edomite identity extremists, man. And Esau has been extremely trying to avoid uh, uh, with, the, with, ex with extreme his, his, his heritage and his destiny, man. And his, and his heritage is he's the Edomite, and his destiny is slavery and destruction, man. So with that, we're going to give all praises going honor unto Yahweh, Vashem, Yahweh Shai, Vashem, 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 Vashem,